Okay, so zero zero flower is not finely milled flower. Mind you, I'm not saying that different milling fineness does not exist. I'm saying that it is not a requisite for zero zero flower. I know, I know. You had it so many times that you will find it hard to believe me. In the end, I'm just a pizzaiolo in a pizza school, right? Obviously convincing you otherwise would be a tough nut to crack. This is why I'm going straight to the point today. It's going to be a short video. So if you want to know more about Zero Zero Flour in general, why it's not that secret ingredient that will make your pizza better, well, then there is another video for you to watch. Today, no frills. Let me start with something I think we all agree on. Zero Zero Flour is an Italian denomination, right? If you disagree, write a comment and explain why, please. There's another essential detail when we talk about Italian denominations for flour. Everything comes from an Italian law. You know, in Italy we have laws for everything. We are famous because we make everything so complicated and flour doesn't escape this doom. In fact, we have this law that falls into the category of DPR, short for Decreto del Presidente della Repubblica, which means decree of the President of the Republic. This law defines what products in Italy can be called farina, that is our word for flour. Then it shows the five types of farina, zero, zero being one of them, and lists the features they must have in order to be called by a certain name. Everything is summarized in this table, but you don't have to study it right now, continue watching. There is a quick screen grab so you can see how to download the document, the law itself, of course and I will translate for you the important parts. I invite you to download it, even if it's in Italian, and if there's anything that somehow catches your attention, copy-paste it in a comment and I will translate it for you. For now, just give a thumbs up to this video. This is the website of the Ministry of Agricultural Policies. Please check in the description of the video to get the link. I will look for our DPR, which is number 187, it's already here, of course. The year is 2001. Here are the results. We need this one. Let's click. And now we can download the PDF. Oh, Decreto del Presidente della Repubblica. This is the intro. Let's scroll down to the interesting part. Here, article number one. Farine di grano tenero, which means soft wheat flowers. First uh, definitions. Soft wheat flour is the product obtained from the milling and filtering of soft wheat, freed from the impurities. Then whole meal, integrale, the product obtained directly from the milling of uh, soft wheat, freed from the impurities. So there's no filtering at all. This is the table we've seen during the video. See if you want to take a screenshot as a reminder. Three features, just three. Humidity, ashes and proteins, nothing else. There is no mention of granulometry, that is how finally the flour is milled. No mention of the ideal kind of oven. You know, some people say that you should use zero zero flour to bake at a very high temperatures. What? Why? How can you justify that? Who told you, and please don't say it was your friend who makes pizza every week. I don't even care if you got it from a professional or a famous YouTuber. They must explain the rationale behind the statements, possibly the science, because it is heavily involved. All the rest is just. And finally, no mention about the preferred use. There is no fourth column that says good for pizza, good for cookies, good for pancakes, whatever. This is up to you. You have to know what you need, the characteristics of the baked goods you are after. So, if you want to make cookies, high protein content is not important because you don't care about gluten, which in turn is usually very important for pizza, so you choose flour accordingly. And you know what's also important? Subscribe to the channel, it's free. 